Unfortunately, Jesse Waters' wife is named Emma. His second wife. Um, He's been married twice. Yes, I believe that I could be wrong. This second wife was an intern at Fox. Okay. But, so keep that in mind. And I swear this is not as gossipy as it sounds because he volunteered this information on the on air and it's scary when i was trying to get emma to date me oh uh, jesus first thing I fucking did, christ uh, i let the air out of her tires <laughs> she couldn't go anywhere she needed a wait lift. i'm sorry said, go hey, back you need a lift? go back uh, i talked over it i just hearing my name come out of his mouth gave me uh, agita when i was trying to get emma to date me yeah. uh first thing i did i uh, let the air out of her tires <laughs> She couldn't go anywhere. She needed a lift. I said, hey, you need a lift? She copped right does in the car. Does she know this story? No, she doesn't know the story. <laughs> does she watch the show? Does she watch the show? Does does Jesse, does Jesse the show? You're basically the Zodiac killer. <laughs> <laughs> it has a happy ending. Really? Oh, yes, we're married. Oh, oh, did you really do that? Is that the <laughs> first time you did it, or did you use that before? Uh, it works like a charm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kathy Lee Gifford joins us now. Uh, people miss that when i was trying to get emma um okay so this actually this is this clip is a little older for uh this or earlier in the month um but it just came to our attention here because they were talking about how climate activists were advocating for people to deflate tires or i, I don't know whatever niche story that they found he goes actually i'm in favor of that but in order to trick yeah. my now wife who is more than 10 years my junior into going on a date with me i'm going to deflate her tires so her car can't go anywhere and she'll have to turn to me the knight in shining armor for a ride and, and then what like you just when do you fill the tires back up uh, that is that is psychopathic psychopathic uh gutfeld's instinct is right like the, if a guy is willing to do that sort of thing to be like hey do you want a, a ride well he gave her a ride then i guess yeah i guess but, like, that's what, what the is that what do you get out of that is. that's the romantic thing is you dropped her off somewhere i, I don't i wow no, the romantic thing is like, look at the length that I went to to actually cause you pretty significant inconvenience by taking the air out of your tires in, a, I guess, a parking garage wait, at Fox News. So they, so you'd yeah. be stranded and dependent on me. Whoa. Frankly, that is, uh, we understand that Ryan Grimm has punched uh, uh, Jesse Waters. We don't advocate for violence here on this program. But um that's all I'll say. That's that's remarkable. So yeah, because when I told the story, I forgot the intern angle. I was thinking like they'd been on. So this is they have no interpersonal. We don't know. I don't know. It seems very strange. I, I mean, frankly, this is like really predatory behavior yeah. that I it triggers me a little bit. I haven't experienced this, um, but I know friends that have experienced these things. I have, fr have friends that had tried to block X's numbers and the guy would track them on their running app, um, like the Nike running app and things like that. Other uh, aggressive actions, showing up places, forcing them to uh, see them, et cetera. Like, this is toxic masculinity personified. And it's fine because we had a happy ending. But think about how terrifying that would be for a woman. Y y you're, you're, you ostensibly have, I don't really know the circumstances of the situation, but I'm going to get rid of your ability to travel and be independent and go somewhere on your own in your own car. So you are dependent upon me. And then I'll be there. That That is And this insane. is, a, um, like, this is what bothers me about what I think people don't understand about what toxic masculinity is. It is not respecting the agency of the woman that you're with if you're in a heterosexual relationship in this way. Um, because a woman can decide if she's interested in you, Jesse Waters. You don't have to trick her through creepy means, taking air out of 
their uh the tires to trick her into liking you it when does you not have a wife i just I, not that when that you matters, have a wife but right i just wanted to just just to point that out yeah draw some uh just just to draw the cartoon out here a little bit um he is married at this time we're uh, unclear but we do know that his second wife it, uh i well i'm looking at suggest.com which i admit is probably not maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe the most um uh uh and we have know, heard well this from nomi anecdotally some stories about this but yeah so this is from suggest.com waters is currently married to emma giovini uh but she's not his first wife the fox news star was first linked to uh noel in uh the pair met at fox news um uh, with Inguati working at the marketing department of Waters on Bill O'Reilly show. The pair married in 2009, shared twin daughters. However, it wasn't happily ever after for the couple. In 2017, Waters admitted to having an affair with Emma DiGinovine, an associate producer on his show. Waters reported their relationship... On with- his show! Yep, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so he's her boss. Boss, yep. Waters reported th- their relationship to the Fox News HR department, and DiGinovine was moved from his show to the Ingram Angle. Wow. So your boss is romantically interested in you, lets the air out of your tires, so you have to get a ride with him. And we're supposed to pretend that this is like normal, normal. And this is the guy family values for the for the conservative host. Right. Exactly. Yeah. This is the guy who is uh, basically doing QAnon style moral um, <laughs> uh, alarmism at people. <laughs> Super creepy. All right, I want to do this. Uh... Damn, what do we have? 